Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us just south of Pechaburi. We're south of Bangkok a few hours and we're going to take a look at what I think is kind of a cool building. Uh, I really, as you can tell from my other videos, I really like seeing the Ayutthaya style temples and this has got a great uh, version of that. It has a 700 year old Buddha that is really important to this region. So let's take a look at the temple and let's see what we see. I've been trying to get over to this temple for quite a while and I always just miss it and uh, had some time today and here we are. So this is the temple grounds. It's not a whole lot to see here. This is the main thing that I want to take a look at. You could, I could see the roof of it and I spot it was an Ayutthaya style building so I had to shoot over here. The monks are cleaning up after New Year's. So let's look over here. I'll show you the Rama 5 statue. This is Rama 5 statue, or King Chulalongkorn. Now what's important is, I guess they took water from this temple and they used it as part of the coronation ceremony when he was coronated king after the death of Rama 4. So they have a statue here and then we have a little shrine, the multi-armed goddess here. Kind of a cool little building, has the Chinese dragons and everything. They have the little fountains. And I don't know if we can go in here. It looks like we can. This might be just a little sermon hall over here. You have the bell. And they're building a new hall over there. All right, so this was the reason I stopped here. Well, let's go in there and take a look at it now. And where this is at, this is Highway 4. This is the road that goes to the south. And it's quite busy. The Highway 4 is super busy. But once you get off of it, you're like, it's rural, rural, very fast right here. Just on the other side of this temple is rice paddies and all the normal stuff you see in rural Thailand. You see they got a series of chetties all around here. And then this is the hall. It has the little porch. And then you can see the detail work with the Buddha imagery up there. I really like these halls with this porch like this. And then you see a few more of the chetties here. And back behind it is some more. You can see that it's got the marker stones. Yeah, this is really, really cool. I like seeing these buildings. So all those ruins you see in Ayutthaya, this is what the building would have looked like when it was in use. And you see all these strings here. They were doing a ceremony, so they tie all these strings to the Buddha and then people can come out here and hold all the strings and then they're linked to the Buddha itself. Yeah, this is really nice. Now the styling here has been updated. So this is more of the modern styling around the doors. Well, this is still kind of simple here. The Bangkok styling, they'll put all that gold and it'll just be all the plaster. Yeah, I really like this. This is a simple design, but I really like the how elegant they are. And then they have a Buddha here. I'm not sure when this was renovated, but you can tell by how fresh it is that it wasn't very long ago. Okay, so let's go inside. So it has the like the threshold you cross, and it has the wooden shutters or the wooden, wooden doors and then the red wooden shutters. And so a monk in here is doing what he does. So there's no murals. It has kind of a wallpaper. And then you can see the ceiling is that red teak wood with all the, the designs around the lights. And then this is the highlight of the temple. So this Buddha is 700 years old. And it has a name, well, I can't remember the name offhand. And you can see here the, the paintings. Yeah, I wish this had all the mural paintings, but it doesn't. It's, I'm sure at one time it had them, but now it doesn't have any more. I have some old pictures of what it looked like before. A couple different iterations of it. And then the scenes of the Jataka here. 
and the people do come in and they uh, they get the blessing from the monk here. He splashes them with the water. Okay, so the monk that was in there is going to show us some of the old stuff right quick. Wow, they have a whole bunch of stuff in here. So this is kind of a cool building. You see all the Buddha images. And uh, there's a monk over here. So people can come in and uh, make merit in here. And it's all the teak wood. And there's all the pictures of the Thai monarchs. And then this is uh, King Narasawan. And then they have posters and stuff or pictures of uh, King Chula Long Corn everywhere. And then they have a bunch of little shrines and stuff like that. And then they have a shrine back here behind the glass. Looks like it's kind of like a little museum back in here that the monks keep. And then you got a cat just racked right out here. So this is all the important stuff here to the temple. Now the statue of King Narasawan over there is it's here because King Narasawan stayed at this temple when he was down here in this area. And the monk said that the old Ubisot that we were looking at had blood on the walls. And there was, this was the site of a battle between the Thai and the Burmese. So this is their image here. And then they have some more of their sacred stuff over there. Yeah, I read that it was the, a site of a battle, but I didn't realize there was blood on the inside of the Ubisot. And then all the amulets and pens and everything. You can get these if make a donation to the temple. And then over here, this is the head abbot at the temple. Yeah, this is a nice place. I like this temple. And some more of the small little rooms back here. And they have all the, like the skulls from the buffalo and all that up here. All right, let's go look at the chetty and stuff. This was kind of cool to see. The monks are pretty proud of their temple here, so they were happy to show me the stuff. Yeah, that's a pretty neat little hall right there. A lot of stuff to see. And then they got the little ease boom bloomed out. And they talk right here that this is the 700 year old Buddha, the standing Buddha. I wanted to look at a couple of the things around the temple. They have this set up right here. Looks like they burned the candles up on top of it. Might be uh, for one of the little chetties. And I wanted to look back behind at this uh, big gold chetty here. So they come out and they bang on the drum, the little gong. You can see all these, these strings are everywhere here. But yeah, this is a nice building. I really like the styling. And then right behind the hall is this big gold chetty. Kind of cool, and then it has all the smaller ones. Now this temple has two rows of the ordination stones. So it is a royal temple. Must be with uh, some of the visits of like King Rama V. And it's, I saw pictures of King Rama IX and the princess here also. And then this is the back of it. You can see that big bird, the mythical bird up there has the little bell on it. And then all the styling along here. They put that chicken wire up to keep the pigeons out, even though there's one bird nest up there still. It looks like they're building a little shrine over here also. And then they have a big meeting hall back behind. So the temple is expanding a little bit. And one more look here at this building. This was the reason I stopped. Yeah, really fun to see. I like this. This is gonna finish up our video over here at Wat Da Chai Sari. This is a nice temple. It's uh, not overly huge, but it's pretty cool. It's well maintained, especially the, the old Ubisot or the ordination hall. And it's interesting to see that big Buddha that's uh, important to them being 700 years old and all. And it's also kind of cool to think of that this was a battle, you know, this was the site of a battle between the Thai and the Burmese. Uh, Pechaburi was important. It was, uh, you know, right here was a port town for, you know, the Ayutthaya kingdom. So the Burmese obviously would have wanted to come in here and, you know, cut it off 
from the IOTR. So it's pretty cool, interesting to see. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash like. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below. I'll try to put the best description I can in here. They did give me a, like a brochure of this temple. It's all in Thai, so I'll have to sit down and do some Google Translate. And I'll put that in the description the best I can so you can read a little bit more about it if you're so inclined. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, stick around. And until next time, from over here in Pechaburi, remember, life is a journey. Until next time. Enjoy.